Hi, this is Abba's house, and today we're talking about childlike faith. What does the Bible instruct us to have childless, childlike faith? You'll find faith in the Old Testament 16 times, and in the New Testament 254. This is one thing that Christ talked about a lot. Our Messiah spoke about faith a lot. Let's have a word of prayer. Abba, Father, Elohim, thank you for being here with us. Bless God, your strength, and keep us. May I say and do what you want me to. Open spirits and unhardened hearts that they may hear the truth. And we ask this in Yeshua's precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Unquestionably, Faith is one of the cornerstones of the Christian faith. Without faith, we can have nothing. And we must remember this. Unquestionably, faith is the essential of the Christian life. Faith is exhorted throughout the Bible and is presented as absolutely necessary. In fact, without faith, it is impossible to please God, according to Hebrews 11, verse 6. The entire chapter of Hebrews 11 is all about faith and those who possessed it. Faith is a gift from God. The Bible never exhorts us to have childlike faith, at least not so much as many words. In Matthew 2, or Matthew 18, verse 2, Jesus says that we must become like child in order to enter the kingdom of God. The context of Jesus' statement in the disciples' question, Whom then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? In response, Jesus called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you that unless you be changed and become like little children, you never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Eliminating the faith of a child we should simply take God at his word. As children trust their earthly fathers, we should trust our Father in heaven will give us good gifts to us. Go with me to Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things to hope for, is the evidence of things that appear not. In other words, unless you walk in faith and believe with your whole mind, body, and soul, it won't happen. For by the ancients obtain a testimony. By faith we understand the world was formed by the word of God 
that from invisible things, visible things might be made. You see, this blows the theory of evolution out of the water, because according to them, it just happened. Well, if you're scientifically minded, matter just can't move by itself. It has to be moved. By faith, Abel ordered to God to a sacrifice to exceeding that of Cain, by which he ordained a testimony that he was just God given a testimony to his gifts. And by him being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Henoch was translated that he should not see death. He was not found because God has translated him from before his translation and he had a testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it, imp is, it, imp it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that we are his, and his is a rewarder to them that seek him. By faith, no, receiving an answer concerning these things, which as yet were not seen, moved with fear, framed the ark for the saving of his house, by which he commanded the world, and was instructed higher of the justice, which is by faith, by faith, he that is called Abraham obeyed to go out into the place which he was to receive for an inheritance, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith he abode in the land, dwelling in cottages with Isaac and Jacob, and co-heirs of the same promise. For he looked for a city that hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith also Sarah himself, being barren, received strength to conceive seed, even past the time of age, because she believed that he was faithful who had promised for which cause the sprung even from one and him as good as dead and the stars of heaven in multiplied and as the sand which is by the sea shore innumerable he knows every hair on her head all these died according to faith, not having received the promise, but beholding them afar off, and saluting them, and confessing that they are pilgrims and strangers on the earth. For they that say these things do signify that they seek a country and truly, if they had been mindful from hence, they come out. They had dupliness time to return. But now they desire a better, that is to say, a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God. He hath prepared for them the city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tired, offered Isaac, 
and he had received the promise offered by his only begotten son this was a precursor to the picture of god and jesus to whom it was said in isaac shall thy seed be called so in jesus shall thy seed be called according that god is able to rise up from the dead whereupon also he received him for a parable it says in genesis that he shall bruise his heel but he will crush his head that's referring to the devil who will bruise the messiah's heel but the messiah will crush his head by faith also of things to come isaac blessed jacob and esau by faith jacob died blessed of each of his sons of joseph and adorned to the top of his rod by faith joseph when he was dying made mention of going out of the children of israel and gave commandment concerning his bones by faith moses when he was born was hid three months by his parents because they saw he was a comingly baby and they feared not the king's edict by faith moses when he was grown up denied himself to be the son of pharaoh's daughter rather choosing to effect it with the people of God than to have the pleasure of sin for time. Estimating the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of the Egyptians, for he looked unto the reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing defensiveness of the king for he endured and seeing him that is invisible by faith he collaborated the pash and shedding of the top of the blood that he who destroyed the firstborn might not touch them this is talking about the angel of death by faith they pass through the red sea as by dry land which the egyptians attempted were swallowed up our abba destroyed the egyptian army by faith the walls of Jericho fell down by going around them seven times <coughs> the story is that he told Jericho to march around the city five times or seven seven times and on the seventh day he is to blow all the horns and cry with a loud voice and the walls came tumbling down by faith rahab the harlot perished not with the unbelievers receiving the spies with peace and what shall i yet say for the time would fall fail me to tell you of Denakai, Berakai, Simon, Jethub, David, Samuel, and the prophets. There are far too many to mention that followed 
the way of faith, who by faith conquered kingdoms, wrought justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the voices of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, received strength from weakness, became violent in battle, but to fight the armies of the foreigners. Women received their dead, rised to life again, but others were wrecked. Not acceptable deliverance that they might find a better resurrection. And others had trial and mockery and stripes, moreover also of bands and prisons. They were stoned, they were cut asunder. They were tempted, they were put to death by the sword, they were wounded about in sheepskins, in goatskins, being in want, distressed, advocated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering in the desert, in the mountains, and in the dens, in caves of the earth. And that those being approved by the testimony of faith received not the promise. God provided some better things for us that they should not be perfect. without us. Our Lord, Savior, Messiah, Creator, Sheep, whatever you refer to him as, laid down his life by faith knowing that he would rise again on the third day. See, the Jewish people had it all wrong. See, Christ said, the Messiah spoke and said, In three days I shall tear down the temple. And yet in three days I shall rise it back up again. They took it that they were talking, he was talking about the synagogue. He wasn't. He was talking about the temple of himself. For today, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. He dwells within us. We have the ability to do the same gifts, miracles, amazing feats that Christ did, we too have that ability. Make no mistake. He says in the Bible that all you need is the faith of a mustard seed. The faith of a mustard seed is very small. It fits on the end of the baby finger. It's very tiny, very minute. But with that faith, I can move that mountain if I only believe this is true to the Word of God. I testify 
to you this is true. Abba, Father, Elohim, thank you for being here with us. May these words go forth, touch spirits, unhardened hearts, and open mind, body, and soul. And we say these things in Jesus' precious name, our El Shaddai, our Yeshua, Yahweh, and Amen. <laughs>